So we're going to now create some individual rocks to scatter along uh, the base of our sort of dirt rocks here, just to give us some more scatter elements. We're going to create them kind of similar, a very similar way to that we created our previous rocks. So we're going to put down a tile sampler this time though, that's the only difference. And uh, let's change this to two by two. So we have one of each of them. And then let's change this to a ridged bell. Um, and then we're going to change our pattern specific. No, we don't want a ridged bell actually, sorry. We want a half bell. Half bell, excellent. So now we can change our pattern specific here because we now have it. Um, and we're gonna do 0.47. Let's scroll down here to our size and we're going to change the scale to 1.17. And then we go down to our position. We want to leave that the way it is, but we can change our rotation random a little bit. So we can change that to point, let's change that to point three six. Gives us some randomness a little bit there. Um, and that's where we're going to leave this one. So let's throw in a warp and a parallel noise to warp that by let's plug that in let's change our warp intensity to 0 0.11 and our parallel noise uh, skill to 11 and disorder to 0.21 just because and that's just gonna give us a little bit of variation for this histogram scan. So bring the contrast right up and let's put the position at 8.86. You can put that higher if you wanted your shape to be bigger or you can bring it lower if you want your shape to be lower. But 0.86 is a pretty good value for that. And we're gonna kind of create the create the, uh, the rest of this graph similar to the way we created our previous cells noises. So we're gonna use a flood fill And then plug this in and we're going to do flood fill to gradient again similar to the previous method so let's put our angle variation up uh, let's try 0.87 and then let's duplicate these down and again let's give ourselves ourselves five of these Excellent. So how do we get the difference again? So let's just change the random seed. It's seven, leave that at zero. Let's put this at one, one, two, and five. Just for no reason. So let's just leave that there and then let's put uh, a bevel node and we're going to bring that bevel in. Let's just bro drop that down, get rid of that, give ourselves more room. Um, and let's go minus 0 0.11. Now just bevel inwards a little bit and then let's put the smoothing at 1.19, which is a good value for that. And then again, we're going to just continue like we did with our cells. So we're going to min darken, min darken our gradients down onto our bevel there. And you see we're now getting these sort of slope angles. Um, and we continue uh, just to do that all the way up our chain of gradients that we have. Again, feel free to have less or more gradients um, entirely up to you. that there cool excellent so like our previous one we did we had our um a gradient map so let's put that in and then let's uh let's drop that there let's make turn oh. let's make this uh value black uh this one white and then let's bring that in and let's cap off the weight a little bit and bring that up um let's bring that down a little bit just so it caps off a little bit earlier. Cool. 
and let's duplicate that. Plug that in, duplicate it again, and let's do it for three of them. Let's just see if we want to change these. So let's bring this down a little bit, um, and then that down a little bit there. This one, and then I think for this one. Uh, we'll just move. We can just move the. Let's just move the entire gradient down a little bit, right there. So, and then we have these sort of back to the that sort of polygonal shape that we had for our cell noises. So let's do an auto levels. Bring back the full range so we can work with the full range. It's the slope blur. And let's do a slope blur on a parallel noise. And we can bring the scale down a little bit because we just want some cell variation. And let's put the starter to 0.14. So, whoa, it's crazy. So, let's put samples up and uh, 2.48. We just want some sort of some movement in there. Excellent. So that's cool. And then we can blend. Let's multiply our uh, base shape. So we can bring that shape back that we wanted. Uh, multiply that down. We go from there to there. And it just kind of caps off any sort of residual height that we don't want. Uh, not a necessary step to take, but just kind of a step that um, I like to do. So now we, what we can do here is we can utilize the rock noise node that we made earlier. Let's just drop that in and plug that up. And now we already have, we just we have some instant surface noise on our stones, which is great. So let's go up blend and let's put a moisture noise. Just want a little bit more variation on our surface on these stones, just to differentiate it from uh, our rocks over here. So let's do this and let's put this to say overlay 0.39 and let's see, let's change some stuff up um, on our moisture. So let's just change that and let's change our disorder. So 7.76. That should be good. And then you just see that's adding a bit more variation to our surface there. And again, let's do final auto levels just to make sure we're coming out the gate with the full range that we want. Now we're about to put it into its own subgraph, but to save us a step um, in a minute, we can actually just do create an output node straight here. And then we can create rocks and then put that into the label. And then all we have to do is grab our selection here, right click, create graph from selection, name it rocks, okay, and it appears up here. And now we can just drag that in and we have our rocks. We have all of this and one neat and tidy little graph, little node. So we can just delete that. And then we can use this and we can use this going forward. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description. If you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial, then they can be found at the link in the description below as well.